66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah No, nothing's complicated No, he's a giant teddy bear, or as he'd like to describe himself as a panda bear. Um, I describe him as selfless. You've heard the expression of giving your shirt off the, your own back to help somebody in need. Well, Adam will go above and beyond that. He will help you out when you're not even asking, when you don't even necessarily need it. He will give you the last $20 out of his paycheck just so that you could spend it to go to the movies and pig out on junk food. Just to make you happy, just to put a smile on your face. Uh, to put a smile on his face, to make him happy again. And it was at that Panera that I knew Francine and uh, I learned so much about her. Fran was willing to sacrifice everything that she had for him. And she'd give up everything, whatever it took, just to see a smile on his face just to make him happy. And Fran, I am so happy and grateful that you're in his life and that he met you. Just to be with somebody so caring and so compassionate and just as selfless as he is. And I'm, I'm I love you. Thank you so much for being with him. Thank you. I'd like to thank Mark and Nancy for uh, raising such a beautiful daughter that my best friend got to marry today. And to uh, Larry and Kim for uh, being like second parents to me and always taking interest in my life. Um, I love you guys a lot. Uh, my name is Derek Accord and uh, I've been best friends with Adam since uh, fifth grade and uh, what a ride it's been. Um, who would have thought two pudgy kids in fifth grade sitting next to each other at the lunch table would uh, be standing here today. but. Here we are. Um, whether it was the countless sleepovers, which usually started off with me begging Mrs. Schuller to let me sleep over because Adam is usually grounded for talking back. Imagine that. Um, whether it was our endless walks to Taco Bell, we didn't get like this overnight. <laughs> Took a lot of work and practice. Um, whether it was uh, working with you at uh, Inner Circle, um, you know, they usually tell you not to work with your best friend, but uh, I think we had a good balance with that. Um, usually I was the, the mean uncle and he was the fun aunt, you know. So, you know, he let, he let everyone do whatever they wanted and I had, you know, have, have the rules, I guess. But 
through all that though, um, it's been an honor to have a front row seat to uh, watching you become the man you are today. Um, like Sam described, he's careless. He would get the shirt off his back. It was the last shirt he had. And, uh, we need more people like that in the world. <sighs> and to Francine, thank you for introducing me to my fiance, Kimberly. And thank you for being the uh, detail-oriented and uh, question asker. Now, we all know Adam needs in his life. So I appreciate, for you, I appreciate you for that. So, and I, uh, so let's raise our glasses. The two things that I've read about a great marriage is a good sense of humor and selective hearing. So <laughs> to Fran and Adam. Hey, hello everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Rachel, as you said, I'm Fran's older sister. Um, so it took me a while to write this speech. Uh, four years ago, Fran wrote a pretty good speech for my wedding, and I still haven't heard the end of it from people that I know. So you set the bar pretty high, Fran. But not only as my sister, but I couldn't really imagine growing up with anybody else and sharing a room for 28, well, 26 years plus. Um, in fact, I really don't know anybody named Francine since probably about 1930. Um, <laughs> it's really hard to find gifts for her, like when you're going on vacation and stuff, because you know when you like look for those cups and those mugs and the magnets, and her name is nowhere. But I do have one thing that. Um, there is her name on it, and it's her doll, <laughs> Francine. <laughs> She's lived with that forever, but that's the one thing we could find with her name on it. Um, growing up, we listened to Shania Twain, Garth Brooks, Wicked. We do our own duet dances and play with the neighborhood kids, Kayla knows, and um, play kickball leagues. But um, we did most things sister did, like play with Barbies and cut Barbie doll's hair and cut my finger and almost bleed to death. But... <laughs> Um, we all know Fran is maybe a little clumsy person. It, it, you know, after she cut my finger, she's fallen a few times down steps and um, down uh, in the parking lot. But every time my parents yell, Fran, get up, you're fine. Even though <laughs> Fran maybe isn't always fine as she falls. <laughs> Being the middle child, sometimes maybe she'd feel left out or, you know, like not part of the family but we had this picture in our living room and it was us four and Fran's off to the side <laughs> and we'd always tell her that she was photoshopped in or she would feel <laughs> left out she had a best friend friend named Angelina remember that you played with you played with her on the swing set and talked to her every single day <laughs> so you were probably like last year maybe I don't know <laughs> but um she's a rule breaker and as uh, Kim knows they were uh, one time at Taco Bell, as Derek mentioned, but Fran also goes to Taco Bell. So they were at the high school, and they were out, and um, the cop pulled up and was like, why are you guys, you know, out at the parking lot at, after curfew? And Fran had to explain that it was Lent, and after on Lent on Fridays, you can't eat meat. So she went to Taco Bell after midnight and decided to go to the high school parking lot and eat after midnight on Lent. So that's Fran. <laughs> Thank God the cop understood. <laughs> she also had a kind of crappy 16th birthday and a crappy New York City trip, but we won't mention that. <laughs> she's known for <laughs> she's known for her laugh. You know, you get you you don't even see her and you know it's Fran. <laughs> My dad would crow in the morning to wake us up, and I know you're gonna miss that Fran every morning. <laughs> but Adam, <laughs> let me enlighten you on a few things that Fran about Fran that you might not know. She likes to take a few shortcuts. When we were kids, we would tie the uh, string around the light switch <laughs> so she didn't have to get up in the middle of the night to turn the light off. <laughs> so um, you have to live with that. Okay. She also uh, makes Steven down there do everything for her, <laughs> get milk, whatever. Okay. She, um, when Dad comes home with the groceries, she hides upstairs so she doesn't have to put any groceries away. <laughs> So she tries to take some shortcuts, and she might not know how to change a toilet paper roll either. <laughs> but um, now about the real reason why we're here, and that's Adam and Fran. Um, this boy started showing up to our house, and this boy had a beard that my mom sometimes maybe wanted to cut off or make you shave it. <laughs> but um, it didn't exactly get off to the best start. I remember you telling me about your first date, and uh, you guys went to the mall. Then you went to watch a movie at the house, and uh, Mr. Schuler was in the kitchen getting his hair cut with his shirt off. 
<laughs> and and Elena, Elena, um, Adam's younger sister, was running around with no clothes on. <laughs> but but uh, obviously Adam still made a great first impression and a quite memorable first date. Um, Adam, you've been a part of our family since we met you, and I'm so happy that you are officially a part of our family now. Um, many dates in Hawking Hills later. Six years, has it been? Yes. Okay. And Fran, I know you're my little sister, my best friend, but I've always looked up to you um, from singing Mulan together and <laughs> going everywhere in high school. We've been through so much. I always want you to remember that on Christmas Eve, when you get nervous, you can call me, because you always do. Okay, and one day we're gonna go on Amazing Race together. <laughs> we pro like we promised, we were gonna go on Amazing Race, me and her, so everybody watch. <laughs> but um, one of our favorite songs um, from is, is from a Wicked musical that we like to listen to, and um, the quote is, I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. So if everybody can raise their glass, and do a toast. This family is fuller with the new Mr. and Mrs. Schuler. I just wanted to thank everybody here for coming and celebrating with us. Um, we appreciate all of you, we love all of you, and we are so excited to have some fun tonight, eat some cookies, hit up the bar. <laughs> um, and thank you again all for coming, we love you. Thank you. strength and show me your weakness we're in this together now we're in this together now give me your love and tell me your secrets cause we're in this together now yeah we're in this together now Falling down, even if we're falling down. All of me is yours, every part of me. Cause we're in this together now. You and me together now. What's the point of living if we're scared to lose each other? Cause we're in this together now